Good morning, Castaic, and happy Monday. I hope everyone had a great weekend and is ready for this week. My name is Izzy Caliburn Tribble, and I will be your host for today's show. For this episode, we have some exciting segments, including a behind the scenes video of a Reese's Puffs commercial, a trivia segment, plus our Coyote of the Week. Let's jump right in because Good Morning Castaic starts right now. Have you ever wondered what goes on behind the scenes of a commercial? Well, to start off today's show, we have a segment bringing us a behind the scenes look at a Reese's Puffs commercial. Torin Rikers brings us more. Good morning, Coyotes. My name is Torin Rikers, and over the past couple of months, I've been inspired by a YouTuber named Daniel Schiffer. He creates B-roll commercials for different brands like Monster, Kraft, and Canada Dry that truly make you crave the foods on screen. One of my favorite commercials made by Daniel spotlighted a well-known cereal, Cheerios. He truly did an amazing job, and I was completely blown away by every shot shown on screen. But before we continue, let's watch the commercial. After continuously watching him create these amazing videos, I knew that I wanted to try and recreate one of them. So, I saw winter break as the perfect opportunity to try and do so. Before I began filming, I decided to use Reese's Puffs instead of Cheerios. Although this is a recreation video, I still wanted to put my own spin on it. First, let's start with the opening sequence. In order to recreate this, I grabbed some black foam core for the background and placed my camera on an overhead stand. From here, all I had to do was hit record and place the puffs one by one. In the second sequence, this shot may seem difficult to recreate, but it's actually quite simple. In order to recreate the cereal box spin, I grabbed a nail and taped it to my garage table. From here, I added a few weights to the bottom of the box and then spun it. This took a few tries only because I needed the front of the box to face the camera at the end of the shot. After filming the box spin, I then filmed the bag shot. In order to recreate this, I went to handheld mode and asked the family member to open the bag as I pulled the camera away. In the next shot, I actually needed two separate shots. This consisted of a spinning cereal box and Reese's Puffs flying through the air. To start, I was able to get the cereal box shot by taping a wooden stick to the subject. After taping the stick to the cereal box, I then began spinning it back and forth. In order to get the Reese's Puff shot, I used a hand towel like a catapult in a way. From there, I asked my dad to help pull the towel flat. This then launched the puffs into the air. In the fourth sequence, I just set my camera up facing the backdrop and poured around 40 puffs into the box. To get the second shot within the sequence, I used an overhead stand and poured the puffs next to the lens. This was definitely a tricky shot to achieve because I needed the puffs to land in the bowl. Finally, we have the last sequence where we watched the milk being poured into the cereal bowl. All I did for these shots was set up the camera on a tripod at three different angles and three different focal points. Once I had finished the filming process, I then sent it over to Premiere Pro where I began editing. Sadly, we don't actually have time to cover the editing process today, but this was the final result. Before we end the video, I just want to say thank you to Daniel for the inspiration and you guys for watching. Hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you next time, Coyotes. Wow, that was really interesting. Next up, we are testing students' knowledge with a trivia segment. Let's jump over and see what fun questions Christopher Casey has prepared for us.
wow, some of those were pretty tricky. Before we move on, let's quickly jump over to Maya Guiza, who has the announcements for us this week. Good morning, Coyotes. My name is Maya Guiza, and I'm here with a few announcements. To start off, learn how you could help a friend. Suicide prevention training is available on Wednesday, January 27th at 2 p.m. Check out the Daily Bulletin for more information. Next, there will be a mindfulness workshop on Wednesday, January 20th at 1.30 p.m. All Heart District students are invited to attend. As for club news, both the Castaic Anime Club and the Castaic Red Cross Club are looking for new members. Check the Daily Bulletin for details on how to join. Well, that's all I have for announcements. Now back to the show. Thanks, Maya. That's definitely good to know. Next up, Amanda Lee brings us a new music segment about the current top charts. Let's take a look. Hey Coyotes, welcome to the hotspot of all things music. My name is Amanda Lee, and today we're going to be talking about the top global charts and some new releases that you guys need to check out. For starters, here's the top charts for this week according to Billboard.com. Blinding Lights by The Weeknd is here for its 58th week without fail, but we do see some newer songs that have already made the top 10. Wasted on You by Morgan Whalen makes its appearance as well as Olivia Rodrigo's new release, Driver's License, at number 1. Driver's License has already broken multiple records on streaming platforms such as Spotify and Amazon Music for the most streams for a song in a week. Almost two weeks after her song was released, it already has 150 million streams on Spotify. Congrats to Olivia for her great success with her song. Moving on to albums, we have uh, Dangerous, the double album again by Morgan Whelan at number one, and Ariana Grande's Positions here on the charts for its 11th week in a row. Number two holds the spot for Taylor Swift with her album Evermore. Now to wrap it up, we're gonna hear a song recommendation from a CHS student, and her name is Olivia too. Hi, so a song that I would recommend is Cut on the Crease by Kobe. Uh, and I really like that song because it kind of, it has a lot of meaning behind it, and it's just a really powerful song, you know? <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope everyone has a great week. Reporting for Good Morning Castaic, my name is Amanda Lee. Thanks, Amanda. We have one more segment before we wrap up our show for today, Coyote of the Week. This segment is to acknowledge all of the amazing coyotes here at Castaic High School. In honor of this, each week a teacher will nominate one student for his or her achievement. This coyote will receive a personalized certificate for their achievements and a $15 gift card to Barnes & Noble. Let's take a look. Chris, do you know why I called you in here just for a moment? No. Chris, I nominated you for Coyote of the Week. You are Coyote of the Week next week. And I nominated you because you work really, really hard. You work tirelessly in class. You have a good attitude. You're prepared. You're professional. You're polite. Staff and students enjoy your company. And you're just doing really, really well. So um, you're going to get an award and you're going to get a nice gift card for Barnes & Noble, I believe. And uh, so, yeah, so congratulations. Thank you. You're welcome. That's it. <laughs> Congratulations to Coyote of the Week and a big thanks to Logic's Credit Union for providing the $15 gift card to Barnes & Noble. Sadly, however, that just about wraps up this week's show. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Instagram at GMCastic for exclusive content. You can also watch replays of our shows on our YouTube channel. Thanks for tuning in and we will see you in next week's edition of Good Morning Castaic.